this is the agenda for today's presentation we will be discussing this topics or sections uh, intro and story my my journey and the benefits tips then i'll give you some tips and tricks and finally we'll have a q and a session yeah, so our first section intro and story here i will tell you like a brief intro about me and how i ended up with Google. so let's begin let's start with this quote that if you are if you fight for your dreams your dreams will fight for you so yeah about me i'm like a pretty average guy all my life i had a pretty average grades and uh, i never tried to stand out or anything also i i'm a lazy guy i don't want to volunteer for things and all and like completely i am average but today here i am giving this ppt and i volunteered myself because like i am so grateful to govi for making it possible to uh, for to reach this position for me and uh, yeah i want to thank them so thank you govi then again as ma'am mentioned i am i come from entc background and as uh, most of you might be knowing that it is very difficult for entc people or like other branch people to get placement and it is like very tough for example i am from entc and uh, i didn't like entc quite much and uh, to get placed people have to study the entc syllabus as well as they have to do some extra courses and all to get placed but uh, i didn't even do entc syllabus uh, properly so by the time like when placement started uh, i was like mm, so panicked that i am not getting placed and my friends were getting placed one by one so i started mm, coding and all at that time but uh, it was like not working out and by the time my college was going to end uh, I was like totally depressed and sad that everyone is placed except me and what should I do? I'm not good at all. So I was like in a bad position at that time. Okay. And but then I didn't give up and I decided to take responsibility and I started to search on it that what should I do with my life now? And I had this dream that I want to like be a tech guy and i want to work in a software development industry so i found out that uh, full stack development is like quite a trending job nowadays and the best institute for that is uh, govi zen class zen class uh, this uh, zen class is teaching uh, full stack development which is man based full stack development okay so man is the top trending uh, tech stack currently you can uh, say that okay so yeah then i was uh, late means I, after college i joined gobi so i was basically late than everyone else but i am like in a good position today and uh, uh, i am glad that i didn't settle for the ordinary and i today i got this best job best job why i say it is a best job because see i got my desired package i got work from home option which was like my first priority second priority actually first was a higher package then third thing is that i am getting to work with the technology stack that i love okay and uh, yeah most and i am happy today and uh, now i'll tell you like how it was made possible by gobi in this section Go, my Gobi journey and benefits okay i'll tell you like how what all things i went through in Gobi and what all you will be experiencing in Gobi for those guys who will be joining and all and i'll also tell you the benefits that i'm facing today in the actual industry okay you you all can can hear me properly right 
Yes, Ishan. Okay. It's audible. Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. So, like, uh, why why I chose Gobi or why should anybody choose Gobi? I'll explain this now. So it's written here success for all. Okay. So why I wrote it here because see, I come from an ENTC background. Also, four there were four or five friends who were who I met in who is in class. So all of them were non-IT students. One was from mechanical and other were from other branches. So see, I knew a little bit of coding because ENTC branch contains a few coding subjects but other branches doesn't so and also i didn't do coding properly and uh, i knew some coding but my friends didn't know any coding at all okay and also there are people who have educational gap in their in their career and also there are people who are, who have worked like four to five years in some other industry and now they want to shift so I want to tell that the reality of your background, uh, it, you will be like uh, in a good place after you completed Zen class. You will be like placed 100%. And today you see my friends who were like all my non it students, we all are placed uh, in good companies. Uh, at Namshi only, we have, I have two friends from Gobi who are placed, one, one guy is in my team only. Okay, and other people are also placed with good packages and we all are happy today. We are in touch even after the class. So GUI does this by, they have like this super leveling structure. They have a pre boot camp and they have then the main boot camp. So in pre boot camp, what will happen is that uh, the guys who don't know coding at all, they will be like taught JavaScript and the basics of coding and who, who know coding, so he will like just revise it in those sessions, pre boot camp sessions. And after the pre boot camp, everyone will know like what is coding, and you will be taught like 20 to 30 percent of JavaScript. So everyone will be familiar with the coding by that time. Then you will be move on to the main boot camp. Okay. Then another thing I like about uh, Google's same class is that they have this uh, structured syllabus means they know what all things should be taught as i told you like they chose monstack as their stack to teach and which is trending and have like the highest package for today and it is uh, easy as well so uh, this they have this structured syllabus for all those technologies and uh, they, we have this optimized roadmap that we know what to teach first and then after that what to teach and we have this three to four months of uh, tight uh, schedule in which you you all guys will be like taught and trained perfectly and the structure syllabus gives a better learning experience and it gives awesome results which i'll be telling you that i'm experiencing today in my company also gui zen class has this top mentors uh, all of them are like astounding individuals and they also are uh, so working professionals and they have quite experience like everyone i guess will have more than four to five years of experience and they know like what is important in industry what should be taught and how it should be taught so they'll teach you perfectly fine and better than everywhere else okay yeah then go will take uh, responsibility for all your preparation they will do continuous monitoring on you and they'll have they'll make sure that you are properly engaged with them and you are doing the task and everything and uh, i'll tell you like how they take their preparation in the later slide and uh, then uh, interview readiness go away will make sure that everyone is like interview ready everyone will reach a certain level which after which you can like uh, you will be able to secure a job and uh, yeah that's what is important like everyone will get a job and the best thing about Google is its placements yeah so i want to like tell my placement uh, experience and it's like 
a completely so completely uh, experience on a different level than my college uh, placements okay so in gen placements uh, when i entered the placements you see i was getting uh, companies so frequently it means like some days i was getting two companies some days i was getting three companies and almost every day almost every day i was getting at least one company okay so you will get a lot of opportunities there's no like and like you will get placed like i was placed in the first 10 to 15 days after entering the placements okay so and uh, my friends were they were placed like after 20 days and a month but everyone got placed okay and also the placement procedure is simple here they'll have two to max three interviews and uh, like uh, it is those are a simple interviews you will be like comfortable with them after the class and uh, if you like apply from outside because i also have applied from outside i tried it you there will be like four to five rounds and they will expect more things for you first of all they will not like encourage giving job to freshers they will say we need minimum two to three years of experience so here in same placements uh, even as a fresher or anything you will not have any problem at all even if you are like average you will be placed in a good company yeah and all those companies are super companies they offer like good package uh, more than what they offer outside and uh, most of the companies are product based companies like see this namshi the company i'm working is a dubai based company product based company it is like the amazon or flipkart of the uh, middle east countries okay so if i wasn't in gubi it was like next to impossible for me to get placed in such a company okay then they have like placement support till the end yeah uh, i when i called a coordinator a placement coordinator and asked her that what if i don't get placed even after one month or two months like is there any timeline because like i want to have a company with i want to get a job with high package and i have some my criteria like work from home and all things so what what if i don't get placed after one or two months so she said that ishan you don't have to worry you will be in the placements and uh, until and unless you like freeze a company and you decide to go for it otherwise you will be keep getting those job requirements but fortunately enough, i was placed in the like first uh, 15 days after entering the placements and in i got a desired job so i can tell that uh, i have not seen like anything else like same placements because you see i have experienced my college placements and i also know the college placements or experience of my friends and all so then placements are like on a completely different level so you don't have to worry about the placements you just focus on your learning part and i i can like assure you that you will be placed in a good place more than that you hoped for okay yeah so this is the syllabus in a nutshell i'll tell you what uh, all things i when i learned in google so they teach the front end back end development and also about the databases and there are other sessions these other sessions okay in front end they teach html css bootstrap javascript react and redux so these are the main things and then on top of that they teach like the other important libraries like formic and stuff uh, which are like important in the industry that i am using today okay i am working on react today and in backend they teach node and uh, express uh, which also i am using today in databases they teach mongodb and mysql so mongodb is no uh, no sql and my mysql is a relational database mongodb is non relational okay so you are like ready for even if the company is asking a non relational or relational database you will be like completely fine given the interview okay so like i like mongodb a lot but my company asked that i they need mysql so i was like okay with that i was like able to answer all those questions and today i am working with mysql so it's no problem 
then there are these other sessions they'll teach you git github and how to deploy your projects front end and back end as well they'll have dsa and full stack development sessions and they will have this introductory sessions for aws and system design which also uh, helps quite a lot and uh, then they'll have interview preparation sessions uh, I, I didn't attend them because like uh, i was like on a decent level of communication and i prepared i really did a lot of hard work these three to four months of my zen class i like completely dedicated myself so uh, i was fine but uh, i know that my friends attended these sessions so these are all the sessions happening in Kofi, and they are perfectly fine they'll make you reach a level they'll make you reach a level above the required level and like you will be placed in good company yeah so about the preparation uh, for every technology or everything they teach you they will have task assigned okay and they are good level tasks for example like you are uh, you are taught mysql today and three days and then you will be giving two to three mysql tasks and after doing those tasks like you will be on a good level in mysql that you can say that okay i know mysql and even in the interviews like okay interviews they'll ask you questions you will be able to answer them properly so uh, focus on task and do them yourself and uh, the main thing like the full stack development projects okay so they give you good projects okay they give you good projects after doing those projects you will like know how the projects how apps are built how the software development cycle works so those are good projects and i enjoy it a lot building them again they'll have uh, then they'll have hackathons so hackathons they will like give you uh, projects or something to build based on what you have been taught up till now and i had like two hackathons two or three hackathons okay and they'll teach you like how to manage things what should you do first how what should you do and what could be left behind and how to work fast basically and you will have mock interviews uh, you will have i gave like two to three mock interviews and they'll have front end mock interview back end mock interview in which you will like and full stack mock interview so you will be like you will know your shortcomings like for example uh, my interviewer he told me that okay you are good in front end development but you need to focus on your back end development a lot which i also felt and then i improved on those things so you will be having interviews so you will be like engaged with the curriculum okay then you will have test you will have i had mcq test and coding test because like coding is an important thing so like they will be keeping track that are people able to code or not okay and uh, do you actually understand what is being taught to you yeah then you will then resume and portfolio yeah so resume and portfolio are the like most important thing you will be building here because like they are the ticket to your interviews okay so when you apply for a company your resume and portfolio will be shared with them and after that you will be shortlisted so uh, resume and portfolio you will be like told to build three to four full stack development projects and you will be helped also uh, if you have some doubts and but i didn't have any kind of problem building them and i included them in my portfolio and i can tell that i had a pretty strong resume and portfolio like no one at all no company like rejected me seeing my portfolio even they were like uh, curious to interview me like wow this is a good guy he's a fresher but his resume looks quite uh, quite quite surprising and nice so like uh, they will go we will like see how your resume and portfolio building is and like i was told three to four times to change my resume and portfolio so they are pretty picky about it and you don't have to worry about it they will completely take care of you yeah moving ahead so the benefits that you will experience and i'm experiencing after my govi uh, class completion so after the class ends you will be like completely ready for the industry you will be above average 
uh, and you will be able to crack in uh, all the interviews even if they are from outside so uh, like i told you okay so uh, yeah guys uh, whatever questions you want to ask me you can ask in the q and a session okay uh, let me continue for now so uh, yeah i i interviewed uh, three companies from gofi same class and i applied to two companies from outside like one from indeed and one from nokri.com and i was able to crack all those all those interviews so for some uh, companies there were two interviews for some some companies there were three in interviews so i was able to crack all those interviews and uh, like i was like enjoying the interview process i gave like uh, 12 to 15 interviews total and uh, i was selected by every company all those five companies selected me and like it was a uh, problem for me to decide like which company to choose because like uh, some were, some were offering higher packages and they were telling me to like come to chennai and all and uh, some were offering work from home like everyone was trying to get, like get uh, me into their company they were saying like okay to, you are selected i am sending you offer letter just sign in and work start working from tomorrow and all so okay you will be like in a good position after you uh, complete the class you will be like you will be able to get whatever kind of job you like okay and then today when i am in my i'm working in my company starting from day one i was able to understand every code every everything i was able to understand and like the people there were actually like happy like how this guy is like understanding everything he is a fresher and they are like happy and uh, uh, i am like a rock star like at work like you i and even you will be able to do everything told to you i have been given work and it, uh, no matter what kind of work it is i didn't need to like consult anyone else i was able to do it completely on my own and yeah you will be like comfortable no matter what uh, company you go in uh, because my friends are also telling me that yeah uh, i am like uh, good with the company i am enjoying the development it's a good experience and yeah i also help my friends and colleagues from uh, my team in the company and yeah you will be loved by all and yeah then uh, so see uh, today i am here and uh, my friends are also in good places now after like after just completing the engineering i am like in such a good company in such a good position working in on this top technologies so it is guaranteed that after 5 years and 10 years i'll be like i'll be in a better and like perfect place like i'll be earning more than enough and uh, yeah i'll lead a happy life you all will lead a happy life so because you see today as a 22 year old guy i'm having this package and all so uh, today uh, today i'm happy with my uh, package and uh, my friends are also happy and uh, like for example if some some guys from gobi are like not able to secure a high package for example if they are uh, if they got a package of 4 or 5 lakhs but after 5 years they'll be able to get a package like 40 to 50 lakh rupees today if you are a real stack developer for a, for an experience of 3 to 4 years you will be like offered 30 to 50 lakh rupees patch package okay so you will definitely have a bright future yeah yeah now i'll tell you some tips and tricks that uh, i wish i knew earlier but uh, now i wanted to tell you guys and i am happy if even one of you will like uh, be benefited from them so i want to advise you that uh, doing smart work is like a better option here because you see the uh, computer science syllabus is a vast syllabus okay and you have a li limited sorry you have a limited time here okay and uh, uh, 
uh, although Gowi is uh, has set this uh, perfect uh, uh, roadmap and this class three, which goes for like three to four months, which if you choose that one, or there is also a six month option. Yeah, I guess yeah, there it is. And uh, uh, Gowi has said things, but you also have to understand that uh, there's only the main things that you have to do in this uh, limited amount of time so you just trust go that whatever they are teaching is enough for you to get a good package and do only that uh, and also i want to tell you that be original don't copy stuff from anywhere else and take your own time like they will not abandon you take your own time complete the task and all and yes another thing is that you have to be consistent see after joining the class you will be you will be in a flow like you will be doing the class you will be like uh, uh, you will be told things to do so you have to do those tasks then you have to at the same time you also have to keep doing the coding and uh, you ha you have to maintain that flow like for example me for three to four months i completely like isolated myself uh, and i totally dedicated myself to learning and uh, uh i said no to friends i said no to parties and all and i completely was i, I am i was completely dedicated to learning and getting better and being able and I, my main goal was to get a job basically okay so then yeah dedicate and isolate yourself then uh, set timelines and goals like for example uh in this week i'm i'm i have I'm learning React. So in this week, I'll make all the notes for React. I'll search the, the interview questions, ask for React. And to this week, I'll come complete React totally. So do set timelines like this and also reward yourself. Like for example, if you completed React, like uh, the next day you can go out. And it means you <laughs> don't go out and do, do the party and all, but just like go out with your if uh, friends and something and like treat yourself for like doing that hard work okay so it will motivate you to keep doing that hard work and then uh, yeah make notes for the topics that you have been taught because i faced a lot of problem because of this because i didn't make notes at first and by the time it was interview in placement time i didn't have no notes and i had to prepare notes at that time so uh, when you are like when you are in the learning process itself make notes make notes like they will be you will be comfortable with them when whenever you will see them you will be able to understand them it will help you a lot when the interview comes i tell you it will help you a lot then do continuous revision because uh, for example this week you have been taught react and then you will be taught like mysql node express and all then when you'll see react again you will be like what is this did i really learn this so like keep uh, revising things and have notes ready and yeah be consistent then you have to like work hard on your communication like for example you can see i'm not i am not good in english on, means i'm not completely fluent but i am on a decent level okay and uh, i'm working in a company and also this level is okay but if you are like on a bad level you cannot like speak you cannot make sentences i i, I would like to address you that start working from today itself uh, see see search on youtube how to learn english how to be fluent and all and like do mock interviews uh, uh, do mock interviews with your friends also there are online sites which help you mock interviews you have to take their interviews and then they'll take your interviews and yeah be polite in be polite when you speak like it is a very important thing when you are like in an interview or anywhere else like be politely why would you not be polite so yeah work on communication because even if you know things and the interview you are not able to express them properly then like you will be rejected. Then com do competitive coding because it's the most important thing. Because for example, even if you did React and Node and Express and everything, 
but when the interview starts and that interviewer gave you a simple question coding question and you are not able to solve it you will be rejected there itself so you have to do uh, competitive coding and uh, yeah the uh, kobe has their own coding platform it's called code kata and it is a good platform you have you can you know, do your coding there and invest your maximum amount in competitive coding because you see if you are a good coder no matter uh, you get react or anything else you will be able to do it because everything is coding right even if you are told to learn a completely different technology you will be fine because you are a good coder right then uh, even though you are you 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 will do three to four projects but i had advised that the main project there should there should be a capstone project like the main project i had one and no one asked me about all of my projects they only asked in my interview i'm saying they only asked about my one one project and they asked questions and they told me to do one two changes there some some people asked me to do not everyone and uh, i was able to do them and they were like completely impressed with it so you should have this one project you should do it on your own and you should know it inside out then uh, you should be happy and you should be confident that like my they were friend my friends they they were like on a good level but they were uh, like very they were not sure that how they will do they were not confident they panicked a lot and even though they could have uh, they could have cracked that interview just because they were panicked and they were not confident they were not able to say things properly there and they were rejected anyway they are all placed now but yeah you should be confident and you should believe and these are some important things that i want to tell you that uh, no matter if you are not an advanced uh, developer in mon or uh, in mon but your fundamentals should be clear okay the fundamentals of js because whenever any interview any interview at the starting of any interview the first thing they will ask is javascript js so they will ask you the fundamentals everyone ask about the fundamentals and only after that they will go to like the mon stack the react and node things but first they will ask you javascript and the fundamentals and if you are not able to answer them you are like rejected there itself so your fundamentals should be strong if you even if your fundamentals are strong you will be able to get a good job and if you are like and if you reach an advanced level then you will get whatever you ask for then there are these repeated coding questions and interview questions so on the net you can find them pretty easily and you have to master them like you have you should know how to do that question in three to four ways uh, and uh, i'm telling you because uh, i did the same thing and uh, in the interviews i was like uh, told uh, i had a question repeat for three to four times in different interviews and they asked me to do it uh, in two to three ways and i was able to do it so you have to do this uh, repeated coding questions and interview questions as well then uh, like i told you practice on code quota and lead code lead code is also a good platform uh, where you will also be able to see uh, code from different people and uh, the best codes for a problem and also yeah i i used this lead code and code quota and i was able to solve every question every question the interviewer gave me every question i was able to solve and not only in one way i came up with two to three ways to solve them and yeah so you can refer code quota and lead code for competitive coding then in uh, you have to do this dsa right kobe uh, will have their dsa sessions uh, and uh, you have to these are some of the dss like array strings and linked list match maps so these are the uh, these are the topics that i was given coding question on okay uh, most of the time you will get uh, questions on array strings and hash maps so these are the dss topics that you should be like a master on you should be a master in these topics and then after completing these topics you can go on to the stack queues and trees and hash maps and uh, graphs as well so i'll tell you that master these things because 
in Gopi placements, I don't think anyone will expect you more than this. Okay, then when you will start coding from the very beginning itself, you start uh, um, paying attention to the time complexity because it is uh, it is an important thing. For example, in one interview, there was a group test and we were given a question. And uh, although it was a simple question, and I thought like, man, everyone will be passed in this test. Like, how will anyone not know this question? But surprisingly, only a few of them were able to like able to clear that round. You see, because even if you are able to solve that question, but it is the important thing is that what time complexity you are solving it in. Uh, if I think you most of you might not be knowing it now, but you will be like taught it, taught about it in the Gobi. So just keep in mind for now that you have to start working on the time complexity from the very beginning. Okay, then you should know at least three sorting algorithms. I, I was asked about the merge sort algorithm in interview, so you should know three. It is more than enough. Then yeah, I told you you should have your revision notes, and yeah, be bullet confident and crack that interview. Another thing is that start building your resume and portfolio after you have completed your first project itself you start building your resume and portfolio because go will ask you to make three to four projects so start after you have completed your first project start building your resume and portfolio and also start applying to the companies from outside as well because my friends some of my friends were uh, were placed before even before the go placement started yeah so you, you are completely fine like after three to four months you are completely fine you will be able to get a job okay and yeah be consistent that's the key yeah now we will have this question and answer session um so Ishan, um thank you for sharing your story and inspiring everyone here yeah. so um and also sharing your tips and tricks as well i hope it i already have some questions in the chat so i'll answer them so the first question is hi uh, in which way the resume was different from others how you felt in the initial coding classes okay so you see normally a fresher on his resume will have in skills c c plus plus and yeah this there will be these two skills and uh, yeah that's it he will mention some other stuff like uh, some some people even mention photoshop in their skills and uh, they will say i can speak english and all uh, you you should, you must not include them in your skills so in my skills there were like uh, 12 skills 12 to 13 skills in my resume which is like so much more than the normal fresher resume also the uh, most of the fresher skills have like uh, uh, copied uh, and uh, uh, like a minimalistic project from the internet they will just go and copy it and put it on their resume but in the interview uh, the interview will find that okay he's, uh, he's copied and then he'll reject that guy so i had four projects on my portfolio and uh, i had a strong resume uh, with skills mentioned projects mentioned and uh, yeah so my resume and portfolio were so good that no company was able to reject me and for how you felt in the initial coding classes yeah so i was so confused because uh, javascript was completely greek to me and i i have i have just had heard the name of it in the so in the initial coding classes i struggled a little bit but uh, as sir told we have our recordings right so uh, i went through those recordings uh, some things were a little bit uh, uh, confusing so i had to see them twice but uh, uh, see in the pre boot camp uh, sir told you have like 10 days okay and they only expect only 20% of javascript from you in those 10 days so it's completely fine you can 
so anyone even if you have zero coding experience you you can get uh, familiar with javascript and you can crack the pre boot camp test it's no issue yeah next question may i know about your company okay my company is namshi it is dubai based company and it is an e-commerce company uh, it focuses on fashion so you can say it is like mintra okay and uh, yeah it sells in more in mainly in nine countries but also it is like it it can ship to all over the world uh, you can also order it and uh, you can like search it like nam search namshi.com on the net you will be able to find about the company and uh, what it actually is and about the uh, verb okay so they are using uh, node and express in the back end and react in the front end and mysql as database so all these things all these things were taught in the uh, boot camp okay by gobi so starting from the day one okay i when i was given the code i was able to understand completely means i was just scrolling down and i was like okay i am getting what is happening right so i reached that level because the projects that i built in the boot camp okay they were also good level projects so like i told you when you will complete those projects you will be on a good level you will be understand the things in your company like i was able to understand them also the people that are working with me uh, from gobi right the two people uh, excluding me are working in namshi with me they are also completely comfortable with their work and other guys as well they are able to work uh, properly in their company so that's all i want to say about my company and yeah as it is a product based company and it is a dubai based company you can like you can imagine what kind of package they must be offering right then how does we help with resume and based on your experience what should be an ideal resume so you don't have to worry about the resume right so govi will be teaching like 10 to 15 skills yeah so already your resume will have 10 to 15 skills then in project section you will have uh, you will be building three to four projects okay full stack projects full stack good good level projects and those will be also be mentioned in your resume and uh, yeah the other things even if you don't have experience mentioned there but the projects that you did is the proof that you are a good candidate for the company right so that's all what is necessary you will have i tell you you will have a perfectly fine resume and portfolio because gobi gobi is very picky about it because they told me like i did a very good job on my projects very very good job on my projects i spent a lot of time and uh, i also spent a lot of time creating my resume and portfolio but even then they told me three to four changes to do in it so after my resume was resume and portfolio were perfected then only they allowed me to enter into placements and once i entered into placement no company was able to reject me so you don't have to worry about resume and portfolio you will have a perfectly fine resume and portfolio and portfolio yeah then did kobi really cover redux in their syllabus yeah, see like i told you and like sir also told you it is a customized course when i joined kobi i was i had no idea about redux okay so but learning in in the process i found out that react is a completely popular technology but react is like super when redux comes along with it so me and my uh, friends ask our mentor that sir we really want to learn redux please can you teach us he was like he said yes okay there's no problem i will have to take two to three days um, extra to teach you redux and yeah he taught us redux and i was i built my two projects in redux as well so one company asked me that do you know redux so i told them yeah i built this project in redux so they were like fine okay this guy also knows redux as well 
so whatever i guess this is, uh, like sir told like this is a customized customizable course so if you want to learn something extra you can just ask them when do we start getting projects so, yeah so see first uh, when you get into the main bootcamp the first thing you will be taught is like the front end development javascript and html css bootstrap so after that when you are perfectly perfectly taught like the front end technologies basic front end technologies you will be having a hackathon like you will be given a project which is completely front end so see fr after completing front end syllabus you are you have been assigned with a hackathon and you have to complete a front end project and after the completion of your back end development uh, you will be given a full stack project okay so then they they will be making sure that you will you are assessed on what you have been taught okay so you will get a lot of projects <laughs> you don't have to worry about it you will get good level projects I graduation from this BSc. Can I be part of full stack development? So, uh, Sumit Kumar is asking. He he is twenty six years old and uh, his his background is BSc. And can he be part of full stack development? I'd say, relative of your age and your background, you should be a part of full stack development because. It is like a trending technology. I want to share with you that uh, the companies that I was applying from outside, like I applied to companies, and uh, uh, I also saw so many uh, job descriptions. Okay, so they were like uh, B, uh, B. It was written not required, preferred means they are not like worrying about your engineering background. They just want the skills to be with you so that's what the important things and for example there are 100 companies and uh, uh, 90, 90 companies are asking for for b and 10 are not but uh, you are getting 10 companies to interview right so you will be placed you don't want to get placed in 100 companies right so no matter what your background is you will get you will secure a job and uh, yeah so you are 26 year old right so you are a little late but you are only 26 years old right you have whole life in front of you so even if you get switched now you will after four years you will be like wow i'm so glad i took this uh, development uh, course and i'm working in the it industry because like the hike is completely like parable you will be getting hikes and like my friend he's a, a senior of mine he got 100 percent hike from morgan stanley his 12 lpa package was like uh, converted to 24 lpa and he has just two years of experience so working in i even if i say even if you get a starting package of 4 lpa you have the you have the opportunity to convert it into 50 lpa after five years only the thing is you should work hard on your skills yeah so you can be a part of the full stack development and uh, so many people from non it background like i am also from non it right and so many people with uh, more age and uh, means completely different background were placed in good it companies so yes you can take the full stack development program Please, uh, shortcomings. Yeah, so one guy is asking about uh, what is the real duration of the course and how to overcome, overcome your shortcomings and projects. Okay, so yeah, so see the um, duration of the course first. First thing is you have to choose that you want to weekday or weekend course. So it will be like three to four months course or six to seven months course. Okay. It it could be more depending on what more things you ask them to teach. Okay. So it can get more, more than the decided time. Yeah. And the other thing is after the completion of your three to four months course, 
uh, you will be like uh, then you will be given two to three projects to complete after that and you will also complete some projects during the course as well so after course you will be given uh, 10 to 15 days to complete the project so you have to complete your project and resume and portfolio in in that period of time and then you have to submit your portfolio and resume to the placements team then they will take you into the placement so for for example uh, i i took a lot time for example they gave me 15 days so i was able to complete all my projects and portfolio in 25 days time so it took me 25 days after the course completion to get into the placement some of the guys they were already uh, ready with their portfolio and project. so they were into the placements after one week after completing the course only one week after they were into the placements and they uh, after another week they were uh, placed and started working for the company so it totally depends upon you for example you are not doing your tasks properly you are uh, for, for one week's task you are taking three four weeks and you are not uh, like in sync with the classes and you are lagging behind so that is not uh, advisable you should be in sync with the class and you should be ready okay so it totally depends on you if you are not completing the task if you are not doing the projects then how can they take you into the placements right then salary package see you don't have to worry about the salary and package because you will be getting all kinds of uh, job requirements some uh, companies uh, will offer you 10 to 15 some will offer even more and the average uh, uh, salary range would be from 4 to 8 yeah 4 to 8 is the average range and see um, i applied for com uh, companies only those who are offering 10 LPA package okay so only in 15 days of time three companies visited who offered 15, uh, 10 LPA package so you can uh, understand with that uh, the companies visiting here are good companies okay you don't have to worry about the salary you just focus on your learning mm -hmm. learning part then again resume and portfolio so yeah your mm, resume and portfolio will be completely taken care of you just uh, focus on your studying part could you suggest some projects that we can do okay so see uh, Govi will tell you like what projects you have to do because and yeah for example there are 80 guys in the class uh, everyone like everyone will be given a, a unique project because like uh, people should not copy right so everyone will be given a unique project and all those projects will be good projects okay so they will look good on your portfolio so the interviews interviewers will like that okay this guy has done this project look in, looks interesting we should interview him so all the projects will be good level projects and uh, yeah they will tell you what project to do and uh, some projects uh, at the end they will they give you the liberty to choose from so for example i like uh, social media i like instagram and all so i built a social media project and uh, i hosted it so i enjoyed doing it like so, so you will also be have the liberty to choose projects but there will be two to two projects that go will tell you to complete and your projects will be of good quality so don't worry about the projects and all per day how many hours class will be there and how was your experience with jane class for being on night student so per day it will be like two to three hours of class and uh, you will also be provided with the recording so even if you are not able to uh, attend that class you will have that recording and even if you are not able to understand that the uh, teaching in one go you can see that recording two times okay because uh, there were some topics that i had to like go through twice or thrice as well so you have the uh, content with you so you don't have to worry okay 
then i told you like what, what, what was my experience with uh, zen full stack this presentation is about it only and in one one sentence i'd say that it was completely awesome experience for me then i'm completely non it background want to switch to it yes see i told you if even if you are from non it background you can switch to it okay our notes provided by gobi and in which form yeah so gobi provides notes means uh, uh, while during the classes itself they will like tell you note this note that and at the same time uh, my mentor what he did for example he started a mysql today so what he did he created one uh, note notepad file and uh, he like mentioned everything that he taught and for example there are queries and all uh, topics right so he mentioned a topic and all the queries related to it in that document and he prepared that document and after the teaching was completed he shared that document with us so and you will be getting notes as well and at the end of your uh, uh, bootcamp uh, i was given Uh, at the end of my bootcamp, I was given this front end and back end interview question. So I can tell you that after doing those two PDFs, front end and back end, uh, maximum questions in the interviews were asked to me from that PDF only that we provide me. So yeah, they will give you good quality notes. Work timing and holidays. Yeah, so I have completely flexible work timings. You see, now also my job is on right. and uh, holidays there are a lot of holidays saturday sunday will be off like usual and uh, yeah i have fix flexible work timings and i can take uh, other holidays as well i just have to inform them my company and in govi also they have uh, saturday sunday off yeah how many code cutter problems were you able to solve during those 3 months you see every every problem i was able to solve so there are like a few high level sections uh, except them uh, the mid, i can tell you that all the mid level questions i am able to solve in two to three ways there are like a few questions that i am not able to solve and those kind of questions are only asked by google and microsoft and all those fine companies okay so you don't have to worry about it um, after those three months you will be on a good coding level if you work hard and uh, yeah in code cutter like i reached a level that after seeing some questions after only seeing some questions i can like uh, come up with a solution on the spot may i know your salary no it's confidential sorry timing of boot camp session so my session timing was 9 to 11 or 12 i guess but i guess it depends on what batch you are in Thanks. Thanks. 